Hi. So once you decide to press Ctrl F5 and preview any page on the website, Visual Studio will create a new database in your behalf. So if you want to view this database, go to the view and click on Server Explorer. Click on Data Connection, Default Connection. You will find here tables and this is a membership identity tables that Visual Studio has built for you. If you, for example, click here on ASP.NET Users, you will find these fields on the schedule. So you will find an important uh, fields here about the user, for example, the email, email confirmed, phone number, and the username. But uh, you will not find the field like first name, last name, or uh, picture, for example. So this is why we have to add those fields manually here. However, before adding them, we have to be aware that this database has been built by the code first technique. The code first technique means that you have to write the database code and then run this code in order to build the database. So you write the code first and the database will be formed on your behalf. So if you want to modify this database, for example, if you decided to modify the table and add new field and you decided to go here and click open table definition and you try to add for example first name and nvar character maximum for example and last name which is also nvar character maximum and then click on save you will not be able to save it you will only save it as a SQL code but you will not be able to save it to save this table by itself the only way to save this table is to write the first name and the last name as a code, not as a fields here. So in order to do that, click here to close and go to Models, Identity Models, double click it. And then on this class, I will add the two properties, which is uh, first name, last name. And let's add also a third property, which is a picture. So in order to add a new property, the easiest way to do this is to type prop and press tab twice and then type the new property. I'm using a convention here which is underscore uh, the property name as a camel case which is first name for the private and then using the Pascal convention I will write the first name as capital letter at the beginning capital letter at the beginning of the second word and then here the first name has been already created. Let's add a new property which is the last name so underscore last name and type here last name let's add a third property which is picture so those are the three properties I'm going to add to the ASP.NET users file. If you click save all okay and try to open or try to refresh this table you will find nothing happened why because you have to open the console going to tools new get package manager package manager console and type here enable migrations and press the enter key so it gives you a confirmation here that uh, the migrations has been enabled and uh, it will open the configurations.vb confirming that the migration has been enabled if for some reason the value of automatic migrations enabled has been set to false change it to true so actually what do we mean by migrations migrations is a new feature added since version 2013 which aims at uh, updating the table definition without deleting any records might be existing on the table so if you have, for example, some users who have registered before, uh, you added the three fields, first name, last name, and picture, and you want to update the table definition without deleting those users' records, uh, you will be able to do that only when you enable the migrations. However, enable migrations by itself doesn't make any changes to the table. So if you click here on refresh, you will find that no fields have been added. Now if you type update database, now it gives me an error that the 
update database is not work because uh, we have to first rebuild the project in order to update our database now let's go to console again so again update database press enter now the update has been succeeded now if you right click here and refresh now the first name the last name and the picture fields have been added to the ASP.NET users table if you right click it and click on show table data you will find an empty table if you go to the home page here and click on register now to create a new user type the email of the user I will type any email even even an imaginary email which does not exist on the real world and click on register so Visual Studio is now creating a new user and it says hello a at a.com now if you open Visual Studio here and click right click here and click on refresh or click on refresh here you will find a new user has been added with an ID with a random ID here and with the email of a at a.com however the email is not confirmed because the website has not sent an email to the user in order to confirm the email we will discuss later how to enable the email confirmation and enter the SMTP client settings on a later video the password hash and all of those fields are almost null first name last name picture is null as well and as you might notice here the username is usually the same as the email this is very important thing to notice here however you can modify the register page by adding a separate field for the username but remember that you will have to update the code behind page for almost every web form inside the account folder to be compatible with that subtle change for me I find it better to keep both username and email the same so the website visitor will not have to remember his chosen username every time he logs in one last thing to notice here before we finish this video is that uh, if you decided later to for example remove the field last name for example by deleting it and save all and then do update database by the way you don't have to to write enable migration every time you update database because enable migrations done once per lifetime and when you press enter you will get an error here why because instead of adding a field we have removed a field so in order to enable the data loss all you have to do is set this value in the configurations VB to true as well so once you do that rebuild the project go back to the package manager console and type update database now everything gone fine if you right click here and refresh the last name will not exist anymore so let's undo this step here let's save again and return back to where we was okay right click refresh the last name has come back okay first name last name and picture on the next video I will show you how to modify the register page in order to add the first name last name and the picture thanks for watching if you like the video please press like